five sixes in the mix. I'm hitting them with trips. Hey, cry time to get the bread. Okay, party people out there in the internet world, the YouTube world, the Facebook world, the Instagram world, we back. Four five six podcast in the building. Uh, once again, I'm your host, Kiran, along with my co-hosts and partners, Jabari, Jabari, Thaddeus, and I ain't gonna let y'all know who he is right now, but give me a second. <laughs> so, once again, we want to make sure we plug all of our internets out there. Make sure you go to the YouTube channel, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, hit the bell, get your notifications, go to the SoundCloud, 456 Podcasts. Same thing, go to the Instagram, 456boys, B-O-Y-Z, that's boys with a Z, same thing, and um, don't forget about the Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, you already know what it is, 456 dot dot dot, can't beat that. Join the group, uh, make sure you get a friend, share it, and share it, and share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. So without any further ado, I want to introduce... Once again, I know y'all heard us talking about this for a minute. Y'all uh, heard us talking about this for a minute, but now we have him in the flesh. Mr. Andre Williams Sr., our first sponsor. Shout him out. Clap it up. Clap it up. What's up, good peoples? What's up, good peoples? So I'm going to hand it off to, unless Jabari or Thad got something to add to that. We're going to hand it right off to uh, Dre. All right. Um, again, I'm Andre Williams. I just want to kind of talk about some of the businesses that I own uh, in Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, we have Noah's Ark Daycare, Noah's Ark Preschool. I've been in business there uh, for about 15 years. We also have uh, Bass Contracting, which is a construction company. Uh, basically, uh, we uh, reconstruct lives with this company. And I say that because um, we believe in hiring people, but we want to train them in the construction trade first. So <clears throat> with Bass Contracting, we rehabilitate properties in the community. Uh, we take abandoned properties, uh, the properties that people no longer uh, want anymore, uh, fire damaged properties in our co construction company. We rehabilitate these properties and get them back on the tax books and sell them as affordable housing. That's our second company. The third company we have is One Heaven Inc., which is a nonprofit community service organization. And uh, with this company, uh, we do a lot of philanthropy work. Uh, we sponsor camps for children in the community. Uh, we sponsor uh, construction training during the summertime for young adults, uh, 12 weeks out of that summer. Uh, we also uh, do food programs, uh, in conjunction with our daycare and preschool, like the families in that community of uh, Chambersburg and South Trenton, uh, we give out food uh, twice a month uh, to help the families with groceries and different things like that. Um, we also couple with the construction company and help with the affordable housing program because some people don't have good credit, right? So with that affordable housing, sometimes we'll have to hold the mortgage to that home opposed to sending them to a bank uh, to try to apply for a loan for themselves. So that is a, a part of the nonprofit effort that we do. And uh, so many other businesses that we have, but I'll just focus on those. And then the last one is my book, Everybody is a Real Estate Investor, Yes, Even You. I break down uh, strategies basically to teach you how to get involved with real estate. When I say everybody is a real estate investor, even the renter, technically you are investing in real estate. All the properties that I've owned over the last 20 years, whenever my tenants paid me rent, I still would take that money and invest in the taxes that was owed on the property or the insurances that were owed on the property or to fix problems that they might have had, uh, whether it was a sink or a water heater or a roof. It was the tenant's money that repaired that same home. So technically that tenant our agreement is once you live in one of my properties, you have a certain responsibility to maintain the property, but at the same time, in order for you to have that peace of mind, you have to pay rent. So you're investing in that same property because that's our agreement. 
a lot of time renters don't look at themselves as investors and think like it's far fetched for them to get involved with real estate. No, you're already involved. You're already investing. So let's let's get rid of the myth. Let's let's take that away uh, and and get an understanding that you're already invested. And let's move on the other side to where you actually own the property. Now, as an investor from the from the renter side, the only difference between you and I is when that lease agreement is over. The equity in that property stays with the landlord. The tenant, basically, if you paid nine hundred a month for twelve months, you know what I mean. At the end of that twelve months, if your lease is up, that money that you invested, if it's ten thousand, whatever it is, you you basically walk away with nothing. You know what I mean. The landlord increases his equity in the property. So if that property cost me ten or fifteen thousand dollars. You basically pay for that property already, and you don't leave with the equity. The equity stays with the landlord. So I urge most people that if you can, learn more about these strategies that I put into this book um, so that you can actually own properties, not just you know be a renter or not just you know look at it from the outside. You're already on the inside. It's just a matter of changing your perception, changing your perspective about the homes that you live in. You're, whether you rent rooms, whether you rent a business, you're, you're investing in real estate. It's all the same money. Whether you are you know own a franchise or a hotel, all of that is still real estate investment. You know what I mean? I own several businesses and several uh, residential properties, but it's all based off the real estate. That's the, that's the common denominator between all of the businesses and all of the properties that's on this planet. Like they're not making no more, no more real estate. It, I mean, as far as land, the land that we have here is, is, is it. They're not producing any more land. So I urge everybody to try to own some type of property, invest in some type of land, just so that you can build a legacy and leave your children something, you know what I mean? And own something. You don't want to rent forever because that money, if it's 10600 every single year that you're invested in, you stay as a renter for 10 years, you know what I mean? Like you're over 100000 that you done wasted just in rent. Made that and you made that landlord rich. Absolutely, absolutely. Up a hundred thousand. You got a two million dollar home out yeah. in Plainsboro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so let, me, go ahead. let me ask you this though, like, so, mm -hmm. I mean, you say everybody's an investor. So yes. Like, how easy is like? Let's be realistic. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you got somebody out there. People work regular jobs. A lot of people don't mm -hmm. have a bunch of savings mm -hmm. to actually put up money to do this. Mm -hmm. Minimally, you know, like a person on the streets, like if they was to say, hey. All right, I got two thousand dollars. What can mm -hmm. you do with it? Like, what can I do with it? Like, how do I how do I do anything with it? And I'm just talking about regular people on the street right. that may have these questions. Right. So, again, let's 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 dismiss the myth that you're not already investing because you are already investing. If you live in a home, I don't care if it's your parents' house. They they you paying some kind of rent if you're over eighteen. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. <laughs> You're already taking whatever you're making from work, whether it's a five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars. You're already putting it into maintaining the property or maintaining where you live at. So to jump on the other side, as far as an owner or a landlord, that's that's what we we want to kind of break down so that you know make it make it accessible for anybody. So with real estate, the way I started buying my houses was really on a handshake. You know what okay. I mean? So, I say handshake, but I still did contracts. <laughs> you gotta come here. You gotta be a man. You gotta be a man. So, so uh. I made my deals off of a handshake. So, say if, you know, it was a property out there. I, 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 I grew up doing the construction work. My father taught me this trade, you know, from the time I was a little boy. I've kind of been, you know, around sheet rocking and you know, fixing windows and patching up holes and putting on doorknobs and painting. And so I kind of grew up around it. Then he just took it to another level as I got older. But when I first started making my deals, I knew what I could do to a property. So I, I, I really targeted abandoned houses because I knew from what my father had already taught me and what he was still teaching me and what he's still teaching me even to this day. I've been in the game 20 something years and I, I'm still open to learning more about real estate. And I've invested in wholesaling, I've invested in flipping, I've invested in buying tax liens and holding mortgages for people. So anyway, when we started buying the properties, we didn't care what neighborhoods they were in, 
right? So I own properties on Walnut. I own properties on the boulevard. You know what I mean? Because to me, my pops would taught me, like, if somebody live in that neighborhood, but somebody like, going to rent the house. Yeah, 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 so why discriminate? You know what I mean? Yeah. So some of those deals that were coming along, I look at the property, say if they wanted to put it on the market, and they was like, okay, Dre, the first deal I did, for instance, the dude had it on the market for 14000 right? I went over there to look at the house, and I knew once I went in, I said, man, I could turn this into two units. And if I turn it into two units, I could pay him double for fourteen. I could pay him twenty eight, but I could sell it to somebody for 125000 because the market was right, you know what I mean? So that's exactly what I presented to him. I said, listen, let me offer you twenty eight thousand when your when your listing agreement runs out with your realtor. I offer you twenty eight thousand, but you have to sign the house over to me, and you have to wait until I fix it up and resell it, and I'll guarantee you twenty eight thousand dollars. He took that. So you basically wait, wait, wait. So if wait. he didn't on your, on your word, he did that. Like, well, he did it on my word because he knew my work. Okay, you know what I mean. So, so this I'm sorry, but this was a person you had already knew. I knew him through the person that took me to the house because the person that took me to the house was going to buy it for 14, but he was like, it need too much work. He ain't want to touch it. Okay. I'm younger, you know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, I know I can put 15, 20 into this joint, but I can, I know I can flip it for 120 so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I presented it to him. I said, when your listing run out with this realtor, come holler at me, you know what I mean? Because I know I can get you 28,000 the person I sell it to, it was going to be two apartments in there. They was going to make 900 off one apartment because it was a two-bedroom apartment. The other one, they was going to make 750 off of it. So with this particular property, I knew I could sell it for 120 like 125 128 130 in that ballpark because of the two apartments that was in there. Okay. The property was going to generate around $1,600, $1,700 a month easy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's a good sell if I sold it to somebody for 120 Their mortgage payment was only going to be around eight or nine. Okay. They was going to make a $1,000 profit. The house was going to pay the mortgage for itself. One of the tenants was going to pay for that. You know what I okay. mean? Okay. So that was my first deal that I made with no money down because I knew what I could do. All right, I got you. Because of your Construction work, of what you could yeah. do. All right, all right. That right. Makes sense. That makes sense. Now, for somebody that's looking to get into real estate, that's why I say there's so many different strategies. Say if you want to get into real estate and you don't want to spend no bread, that's where we get into wholesaling. Before we went live, I told you, you know, if you have a, motiv a motivated buyer and a motivated seller, yeah, you, were saying you put like the that. two together and you make the difference in between what you sold it for. So say if Cass wanted to sell his property, like Dre, I inherited this property, I don't want to do nothing, I just want to make some bread off of it, can you get me 5000 what I'll do is I'll put that property under contract with Kaz, right? So it's under contract for $5,000. Jay might say, Dre, I'm looking to get in the game. I got seven grand. What can you find me? I take that same property that I got under contract with him for five, and I'll sell it to Jay for seven. Now, he's in his range that he want to be in. He's happy because he know he's going to fix it up, and he might make 30, 40 grand off that seven. Kaz got what he wanted because he was like, I ain't, you know, I only, I only, I I only one five. Here, now, yeah. I, I won because, one, I ain't spent no money. I just found two people as in, and, and played the matchmaker. You know what I mean? Well, that's, that's, that's very, that's very, very awesome. interesting. That yeah. I discussed these strategies right in this joint. You know what I mean? <laughs> Make it real simple because it's easy. The hood, the, the houses in the urban areas are gold mines. This is not just in Trenton. This is in Philly. That's where I was talking about. Trenton, Trenton got 8,000 abandoned houses. Philly got about 16,000, 17,000 abandoned houses. Camden got like 10 or 15,000. Baltimore, Maryland got over 20,000 abandoned houses. We ain't even hit the East Coast, I mean the West Coast. We ain't talking about Chicago. We ain't talking about New York. We ain't talking about North Jersey, Jersey City, Irvington, East Orange, South Orange. We ain't hit none of those areas. They're all suffering from the same problem with these abandoned houses. So, so is that kind of like what they doing the, the gentrification that they doing in New York right now? Gentrification is a little different, though. I think. Well, the gentrification thing it, it, it works like this: they'll target an area, right, that they wanna that they wanna bring their businesses and their yeah. homeowners to, right? right? So, say like say like Philly, right? Remember back in the day, it was a bunch of abandoned houses in mm -hmm. South Philly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you know I mean, when we used to go out there, what they used to have, the Greek and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was a rough neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's empty as hell. Yeah, right. So now, those brownstones are worth millions. Yeah. One brownstone yeah. might be worth 1.2 million. One brownstone, 900,000. Now, back in the 90s, when we used to go out there, you couldn't eat. I mean, they was some of them was abandoned. They was they wasn't worth nothing. And I so that was prime example for gentrification. I want to say yeah, something, y'all, yeah. because it's the same shit Jay was talking about. He yeah. is not Jay Z, but y'all need to fuck listen, because he's show he's showing proof that he did it. Like yeah. he's doing yeah. it. And if y'all got questions, ask questions. If y'all got anything, yeah, because y'all want to know how to get the book, or if y'all got yeah. any questions right now, yeah. uh, this would be a ask. great time. Yeah, it'd be a good time yeah, to ask. Because ask. Yeah. He right here, he giving he giving y'all giving he giving game. to y'all right now, and y'all. Before y'all start messing up the income tax check, y'all. You better say, think about it. Better think about it. Say, say that income t- pay, put that income tax check up and be like, you know what, I'm gonna spend this money in eight to ten to twelve yeah, months. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, don't, I'm gonna say I'm gonna spend it then. And don't go give it to J and S. Yeah. Nah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't exactly. Don't, don't, don't buy the car. Because if you do it right, don't buy the car. And if necessary, you could join with one or two other people. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. If you know that the person, you got a couple jokes right. that you can rock right. with that's right. going to be just as dedicated and honest as you, right. man, y'all put your money together and make it happen. Right. Hey, we man, definitely going to do that. Yeah. It's already the, in the The making. other part of this, though, the other part that I, I'm hearing you say that I like about this mm-hmm. is you said something about putting these properties back on the tax books. Right. And I think that that's the part that a lot of people don't realize mm-hmm. how much it's going to impact. Yeah, yeah. Because with the eight thousand properties you said that's in, right. that's a lot of tax money that's, that's not, not going into the city. There, so yeah. let's do numbers real quick, right? Mm-hmm. So if we think about eight thousand abandoned properties just in Trenton, on average the property taxes is like two thousand a year per house. Mm-hmm. That's sixteen million a year our city is losing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now imagine all the years that these properties been abandoned. 25, 30 years. Yeah. So yeah. now yeah. when you yeah. see the closed libraries. That's why they don't have the funding to keep them open. Yep. When you see the pools Tax closed during dope. the summer, yeah. when you see the road conditions are messed up, when you see the after pro the after school program shutting down. Back in the day, y'all remember weed and seed. Yeah. Weed and seed. Yeah. Now yeah. weed and seed in the nineties yeah. and the eighties. It was big. That was yeah. big. Yeah, that was but big. It, it kept us out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, even the lunch trucks. Even the, the lunch, lunch trucks, trucks came through. Hold yeah. on, I got a comment from one of our um, one of our viewers. So yeah. Tisa, and I know Tisa does this too, which like mm-hmm. she's kind of into this. And she was saying the issue with the town is the turnaround time. To take possession of a property of my twenty um, of the twenty investors purchased, the time frame was eleven months. So is that how long? Is that about the turnaround time it takes to get a property? Or nah, 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 nah. I'm not understanding her question. So Tisa, but, can you elaborate a little bit? You want to see it? Yeah. Ask Ask this specific ask question. Ask the question because he 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 said he don't like of the, of the twenty. 20 of my investors purchased the time frame was 11 months. On, on, on elaborate, T.C. Yeah, because it sounds like she, I mm-hmm. think she's talking more of the, the, the their return. Their, right, their experience that they had. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I don't that's, that's, that's if that. you go into yeah. auctions, right? I'm bypassing the auctions. Yeah. Wait, so you don't even go to the auctions? I don't even go to the auctions for my right. properties. I get properties donated from Wells Fargo, Bank of America, the city of Trenton, and I, from regular people. So you plugged into a different... Bruh, I, a I've different been doing it so long. 20 years? Like people, people call me and be like, Dre, I, I got a property on Pearl Street. Dre, I got a property on East State. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I was just talking to one of my co-workers a couple days ago. And he just, you put him on to something. Right. He, he was just telling me. Yeah. I was telling him he was on. He was like, oh, yeah, I, he just helped me get something. So, yeah. okay. so, so that's proof. That's how it works. When you, when you in, it's all about who you know. Oh, well, I'm plugged in. Good. I like this. <laughs> so I bypassed. The auction is cool, but it's a lot of novice that go to auctions. Like these investors, or, you know, whatever they're doing, that's 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 okay for them. But I've been doing it over 20 years, so I don't I don't go to the auctions because if I'm if I'm bidding on a house, say this house here that I know is only worth two or three thousand, a new person coming in that got like ten or fifteen thousand to play with. He gonna oh he gonna outbid me because I'm not putting ten or fifteen in this house that I know is only worth two grand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, so what he'll do is he'll he'll offer ten or fifteen on this house. Mm-hmm. Then he'll go look at the house and see that it needs forty fifty thousand dollars worth of work. And now he ready to sell. Now he back. now he like yo I don't yeah. even want the crib no more. Yeah. Let me give it back. You know what I mean? So he end up giving it back, and that's how we got the accumulation 
of abandoned houses because it was a lot of novice going to the, the auctions. They were uneducated. They didn't understand That's the strategies. Say. That's yeah. why I wrote a book about it. I've been doing it so long I had to write a book about it. You know what I mean? So when we when we get our houses, it's from other guys that do what we do. Okay. Families that do what we do. Churches that do what we do. You know what I mean? And they'll call and say, Dre, I want to get in. I want to do this. I want to do this. So I'll go to a particular house. I'll write down their address. I'll call the tax collector on that particular property and find out who has the tax liens or who's been paying the taxes on that property. Once I find out who's paying the taxes on that property, I'll call them direct and say, hey, listen, I saw your crib, mm -hmm. 44 whatever, Poplar Street, you know what I mean? I know that the house is backed up in taxes for 10, 15 grand. I'm willing to take on that responsibility if you give me the house for a grand. I'll put a grand in your pocket right now. Ooh. So what they do is say, I don't want the headache. That's why I've been sitting so in. long. Give it give to it me. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take one that? And I'm going to take it for a grand. I'm going to go throw the work in. Once I resell the property, I'm going to pay that tax lien off. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. how they my property. Yeah. So when you get the property, you don't have to pay the taxes right then and here. You can pay yeah. that after Once you rehab it, it yeah. and sell it. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay, that's cool. Right. Man, take my right. school. Hey, no, yeah, this, is, this is good. <laughs> Class is in session. Nah, you better have a pen in the past. The, 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 the other thing, though, yeah. like, I, like I'm, I'm loving the, the, what, what I'm hearing. Yeah. But, like, as I said, like the, like you said, the library is closing and the taxes that get yeah. back and we're missing, like, eight million dollars. That's dope because if everybody, if not everybody, but if, if we could get at least half of them houses, yeah. if we could get yeah. half of those back houses up and running. back up and running, everything going to come back and alive. Just start just coming think, back right. Like, yeah. Sorry, I don't want to cut you wow. off, but just think, mm -hmm. just think, we got the softball Sundays, right? Yeah. Now just think if every team that's out there on that field mm -hmm. buy two houses. Oh, you do yeah. it. Oh, my you start bringing it back. Every, yeah. Team, yeah. every team that's out there playing softball, put their money together, Get up to 20,000 and buy a couple houses. I, I like that idea, Cass. I definitely like that idea. And keep it going every year. Within 10 years, like you said, we going to really be owning our, our blocks. Yeah. One yeah. of my slogans is, let's buy the blocks back. Yeah. Yes. The reason I say that is because we have a generation now where we think outside the box. You know what I mean? We don't yes. believe just everything that we hear no more and everything that we see. We nope. know it's much deeper than that. Mm -hmm. So knowing that it's much deeper than that, we got to realize who we are and the, and, the, and the creativity that we actually have. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all creating your own show, that's different. You know what I mean? Y'all not thinking like normal people think. People will come up with all kind they of excuses. They want to be rappers. Yeah, yeah no. they'll come up with all <laughs> kind of excuses. <laughs> why I can't do this yeah. and why they'll talk themselves I out of it. I ain't got money. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so once you put your mind to it, like, okay, the reason I decided to sponsor this, this program is because, one, it's innovative, you know what I mean? And it's it's good for our young people to see us doing something different as men. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, right. So now when I'm saying, okay, we build and we talk, and this, this is my cousin, you know what I mean? I've been knowing Thash since we were kids, yeah. playing football at Trenton High and Junior Absolutely. High and all that. So, you know what I mean? The, the, the piece is now, we come together and unify, mm -hmm. right? And we talk business. We start having different conversations. We talk about legacy, you know what I mean? We talk about leaving an inheritance to Absolutely. our children's children. We talking about leaving wills. So now when we talking about all this, we gotta have something to leave them though. So why not talk about let's build it up. Let's build up what we're gonna leave behind. Let's build up how we can save and bring our community back. We don't want somebody else coming in and, and kicking our people out. Yeah. I got a question. Go Sorry. Um, one of our um, rude boys, what's up rude boy? Is there an option for prefab house in the town? That's what he's asking. If you buy the land, yeah. Yeah, if you buy the land, you could put a prefab house up. What's yeah. a prefab house? What is that? Well, it's a house that's already pre prefabricated. Together. So they just put it there on the site. Well, yep. you still got to do the foundation, of course, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then you lay the, the 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 house in, but you still got to run electrical. You still got to run plumbing. Yeah, you still got to run heating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an option, but it's you got to like buy the trailer, land, first. right? It's almost like a trailer. Like you know how you have it. Like, no, 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 no. No, what I'm it's saying like, is it's a concept. Yeah, yeah like what yeah, I'm saying, like concept. like at my job, they right. we we they re renovated one part of the building, so they brought trailers in right, to right, put right. all the workers in. Okay. Right. And the so trailers the they basically concept. just set up everything, they right. put the electricity up, right. hooked the plumbing up, right. got the air AC, the, yes. you know what I mean, all that stuff hooked right. up, and it's then the everybody was able to stay in Yeah, that's how they do houses uh in deep Pennsylvania. You know what I mean? You see the trailer parks. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? That's one of the things I was thinking. Out in about. Michigan, Detroit, all those different areas, they got a and whole down bunch south. of and down south. Double Y. Yo, you yeah. quiet. Yo, what's no, up, I'm dog? Just, he's soaking it in. He's soaking it in. I'm like, what's up, bro? No, because like he's saying this, but 
But yeah. you have people that might be hesitant and investing in Trenton. So like what's like we need to figure out ways we could make the Trainer. city like bring the city up from the dead, resurrect the city so people yeah. may not be scared to spend yeah. that kind of money. Like we need to come up with ideas I hear what you say. and ways to, to you improve know. the whole quality of the town. That's right. what I'm saying, the park. So let's think about We're already strong but, right there. But you know what? I and, think and I start think, with the kids. Like I, we gotta I, start I, I, like with these with these kids get them off the streets and yeah. doing something. Yeah. Yeah. I think it starts with the park. Honestly, mm-hmm. not just the park, but I think that's a good that's start. A good start. That and the reason why, and the reason why I say the park mm-hmm. is because that's somewhere that everybody still go. Mm-hmm. Like the kids go. That's the like kids. one of the last, last things, things that still, that still, that yeah. still, you know what I mean? It's that's one of the still, last things still, you know what I'm saying? It's still kind of like ingrained. Right. The cow with a park is ingrained to anybody that's anybody from Trenton. Grew up in if you leave the town and you come to Trenton and this is summer day, right. you're going to ride to that park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's the tradition. Yeah. That's the tradition. And you might even go see if the bear's still under there. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so he said wrong question. Rude Boy said wrong question. He talking about, I guess he meant to say sheriff auction. Sheriff auction. Like they have in Philly. Or the sheriff cells. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they can go to sheriff cells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. right down at the, um, the building. What is that on uh, Montgomery? Is that Montgomery? At the end of Montgomery, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, the old, the old court, well, the new courthouse. That's what right across from Cohen's Tuxedo. That's where oh, they yeah, do the yeah, sheriff yeah. cells yeah, at the yeah, basement. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, they do so them in the basement. They do them in the basement. So you basically, you, you just go down there and you ask them for a list, you know what I mean? Or get on the list. And they'll send you the sheriff cell properties list. And they list them in the paper. So yeah. the Trent Times, the Trentonian, they list the sheriff sale property so, in the newspaper. So all right, look. So you telling me like I, I'm curious because I, I, I mean I got a couple dollars that I could invest, but you telling me I could go down to like I'm gonna just say like a sheriff ship, right? Mm-hmm. And find a property down there and what? I just pay the taxes on the property? Nah, 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 nah. With the sheriff sale, those are mostly like bank owned properties. Okay. Or or a property that's been foreclosed on. Okay. So that bank or that uh, mortgage company or Whoever was the lender or if somebody bought a tax lien and foreclosed on a tax lien, they'll go down there and put the property up for share. You know what I mean? And I pay that old, like I would pay like the past due taxes or... Or the past due mortgage. Mortgage that was old. Right. Money, and so right. you get it cheap. Okay. Okay. Right. That's uh, the sheriff sale though. But is the sheriff's... Okay. So if you rank in things in orders of how you would purchase a home, would the, where would the sheriff's spell fall into that? I mean, to be honest with you, I'm, I've been so focused on two areas. The sheriff's cell would be like last on my list because okay. you don't have to go down there with more bread. You know what I mean? Oh, so you got to take more. Yeah, you ain't you ain't buying no house yeah. from the sheriff's cell for no two no two grand, three grand, four grand, nah, none of that because it's it's you're dealing with corporate, you're dealing with a bank. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. What you're saying, everything is direct. So you dealing with the right the right There's home, no the home there's no middleman involved nah. at all. <laughs> okay, and that's what I like. Straight with the bank. <laughs> yeah, with the bank. straight with the bank. Yeah, yeah. no middleman. Now man. with the nonprofit, I get them donated. You know what I mean? So people just, just be like, Dre, this this house caught fire. I don't want it. <laughs> Could I donate it to the nonprofit organization? So they'll donate it to the nonprofit and get the tax write off. You know what I mean? And I've been doing that. And you'll fix it up. Oh, man. You know, I fix it up, sell it as affordable housing. Yeah. I, I, I got a question. So if, if it's not too personal or whatever, what, what like, it's, all right, two questions. What is your your biggest investment as far as purchasing? Yeah, purchasing a, a house or whatever, just so that people can see that it can it can go from this, but it can also move to something bigger. Nice, I like that. Um, I mean, right now I'm I'm working on about three deals. Uh, one of the deals that I'm working on. I don't really want to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> you don't got to talk about it. I said, don't want to talk about it. Put that in your next book. Anything you don't want to talk about, don't talk about it. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Bring up something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure. with, with some of the other properties, this, this, is, this is how we have to change the way that we look at investing, right? We can't look at it from, like, I've made an $80,000 profit on, on flipping some of the properties. We made 100000 on flipping some of them. We do flips in the suburb. Where you know we'll get for seventy, put forty into it, but we'll sell it for two and some change. I can see that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that. The, the, now those are straight flips. Right. You know what I mean, because yeah. we don't want to keep those it's too long. You can't yeah. hold on yeah. to them. Yeah. You want to you want to get them for seventy, eighty, Willingboro, yeah. Ewing, PA. You know, put your twenty on. in, put it back on the market. So I got a, I got several groups of investors that I work with 
that do that. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they'll be like Dre coming as a partner on the construction side. And that's yeah. where me and my guys out there. That, was the, that was the yeah. next thing I wanted to get right. into yeah. about that. Right. Because with you having these three different business entities, right. I think you have a very strong advantage over other people that's trying to do this. Oh, because I do. you actually have... Yeah, you, you have to buy it, fix it, and, and sell it. Yeah, yeah, so like, that's the part. Day. That's yeah. the part that I'm intrigued by. Like, yeah, yeah, the it's not even. It's yeah. not even. It's not even the buying part. It's that fixing part. That's the key. That fixing that's part. Gone. That's the part where. Yeah, I bought it for eight thousand. But yeah, right now, five, but you can, right, right, right. But you can, doing the work. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. can control that because right. you you own the. I think that's the. I think that's the best thing. Yeah. That you have that because yeah. if you had to, like, if I was to buy a property, I would definitely have to go, hey, Dre, can you fix this? Right, but yes, right, I got to right. pay you for it, which I right, know. Right, right. But if I own my own company to fix it, right. it would be a lot less. I get it. And that's right. dope, yo. That's right. that's super dope. That's, right. that's, that's, well, that's 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 the reason why we partner up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even when I work with other investors that be like, Dre, I found something. You know what I mean? Okay. What can we do? Can you send me a crew? That's why I said my construction training program it's going to be essential to us building this network. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, Dad, you grab something and be like, Drake, can you send me a crew? You know what I mean? I'll, like, I'll send three or four of my guys, and they'll just focus on your project. Can I, can I just say something real quick? Yeah. I used to do demolition work, and I'll be free. Like, I'm off two days a week. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get down to the world or something. Yes. Oh, <laughs> man. Hey, like, man. And I know that's easy. Give me a slayer chapter book. Uh, let's do it, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and you're going to learn. Do it. And you're going to learn. Yeah, on top of it. Hey, yo, we got walls or something. Dope, yeah, man. Though, that's dope, though, Drake, because, like, not only are you you have the construction property, but you training people. Oh, we got to. You training yeah. people to, like, say, all oh, right, stuff. my shit growing. Yeah. I'm going to get another crew in six yeah. months to do this other house. Yeah. So let me train y'all on this house yeah. that we're working on now. Yeah. So that's you got it. You know what? You got it. You got it. I'm dead serious. I can skip the gym some morning. Like, <laughs> yeah. I like doing that. Like, give me a slam chamber. Yeah. yeah. All right, hold you on. So, so, hold on. One of our, I'm, I'm going to read some comments yeah, yeah, from my yeah. people. Um, so, Tisa says, um, hey. you can buy property from the city of Trenton outside the auction if it's located in a redevelopment zone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mike says, subcontracting. I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sub. That means I sub work to them. So, okay, right to another contract. And Rude Boy says, Boy "Now I'm a bit confused. Go ahead. I posted the link to the website in here. When I go to the auction, we bid for houses that need a little work. I'll buy for ten, use five. I have the deed mm -hmm. and put my fifteen on fifty. Yeah. All right, sorry, y'all. And put my fifteen on fifty. Yo, seventy-five thousand. I'm just trying to get a better understanding of how this works. How can I bypass the auction? Hit Dre. All right. So this yeah, is this is, this is I'm gonna yeah, tell you real quick. Complicated. No, no, no. It's not. It's it's easy. If you have a particular house that you've seen that's boarded up, write the address down. I'm gonna give you the number to the tax collector's office right now. Write this he down, old boy. Right in Philly, though. It don't matter where you at. He's Philly, in Philly, but he can get money. Be trying to find. All right, him. so if, even if you in Philly, you call City Hall Tax Collector for for the area that you want to buy that house in, or that you want to you know obtain information on that abandoned property in. So when you call the tax collector, you give them the address and you ask them who's paying the taxes on this property. That's whether you live in Philly. That's whether you live in Trenton, that's whether you live in wherever. They all have same a city structure. hall, they all have a tax collector. You can get the same information from them. Once you find out that information, you send a letter to that person that they gave you the name of. And you inquire about that particular property that you're interested in. When you inquire about that property, you can buy it directly from that individual. You ain't even got to go to the auction exactly. to get it. Man, you could just talk to exactly. them straight yeah, up. Yeah, because the middle, man. they right. got the deed in hand. Right. Y'all can do business. Y'all can do business. Yeah. Now, some of the properties are owned by the, the, the township or the city, oh, but the city will tell you that. You and that you number. do business for who? For Philly or Trenton? You want the Trenton. All right, for Trenton. You want the number. Hold on, Rupert. You got a pen? He's going to give you the number. You better this type one. it down. We're not giving it to you again. No, this one is on the house. <laughs> the next one going to cost you. Yeah, money. this one is on the house. <laughs> the next one is going to cost a couple bucks. But he about to give you the number. And Mike says, while we while he looking that up, Mike says, everybody comes in with the trade, roofing, plumbing, electrical, drywall. Right. 
Okay, well, yeah, I mean, they definitely need that. But yeah. I, you know what my concern is? What's I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm, since we talking about it, I'm gonna just, like, my concern is I go buy a house, right? Uh -huh. And then, like, it's like, I'll say I paid five, ten thousand for it, and then uh -huh. it's like 70000 to fucking fix this job. Well, electrical, plumbing. The, the, key the plumbing is, is the part I'm worried about. Yeah. And the electrical. This is, this is. He said he want Philly MPA in Jersey. I only got Philly number in my phone. No, actually, I got Philly number. I got Trenton number now. 609-989-3070. 609-989-3070. Now, what I did was I got my real estate license. I'm a general contractor, but I got my general contractor's license in Jersey and in PA. Okay. Because I knew... Eventually, I wanted to touch Philly as well. Can you go to Philly? Because I'm going to Philly right now. Yeah, I got, I got my nonprofit. <laughs> yeah, my nonprofit is set up there. My uh, general contracting company is set up there. I got licenses and everything. Man. Got some work for you. All right, yeah. boy, you got it. Okay. So, City Hall, Philly, I'm going to give you that number. Stand by, Rude Boy. <laughs> Even though you all Google this shit. Here it comes. 215 686 8686. 686 686 8686 8686 we we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. give you no more phone numbers. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody yeah. else any questions? Get the book. Anybody else any questions? Do any of y'all got any questions on this though cuz this is some good shit, yo. Yeah, Joe. I ain't gonna lie. I've been you ain't got more questions. I've been, been telling people about this. I really have because I'm intrigued. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm intrigued. I ain't got a lot of money. But I think I could try something. Yeah. Like, so remember, and that, and it's that not was just one, one way. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's multiple ways to invest in real estate, right? right? So don't don't worry about the money part. If you want to get in, the key is getting educated, learning the strategies on how to get first. in. Because I, I gave you the strategy on how to get in with no money. That's right, wholesaling. Right, right, right. You know what I mean, that's you just right. find something. It's it's. Right here, you got four people that's interested in buying houses right now. Yeah. <laughs> so if you if you go find a house, right, and say somebody told you Dre, I want to, or, or told you that they want to sell this house and they want to sell it to you for four or five thousand, you put it under contract. Call one of us and be like, Yo, I got a house that I can sell you for six grand. You made a two grand profit. You ain't spend nothing. All you did was make a couple. That's wholesaling. Yeah. The other way is partnering up. Uh, we talked about partnering up with general contractors, partnering up. Mm. You got to build a team. You got to get a title company, get a realtor. The realtor can even find you deals. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or another wholesaler can find you deals. Okay. Another deal, another uh, way that we invest in real estate is buying tax liens. When we buy tax liens, you make an 18% interest on your money when you buy a tax lien. So say if we got a certain address that we want to buy a tax lien on because they were behind a quarter or two quarters. We go to that we go to that municipality or we go to their tax cell and we put the two quarters down on that property. Now we own that tax cell certificate that was uh, on those properties, right? So now that that interest will grow at eighteen percent interest. Okay. That's so it's good. it's 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 that's good. Your that's money's good. making yeah, money. Yeah. You ain't getting dirty. You ain't touching no Word. properties. You ain't picking up no hammers. You ain't changing no toilets out. You ain't doing no sheetrock, and you your money just making money. Somebody know where they can get the book. From yeah, real quick. quick. Yeah, she said, "What can she get the book?" I tell you, Amazon.com. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you because I see this shit. It's on Amazon.com. You still got the ebook link up? Yeah, the yeah. ebook link up too on Amazon. Hey, hey listen, Queen, go to the uh, announcement section of our uh, group page. It's up there. It's two links. You can get the free book up until. January, actually, today, today right? Today, last you better go download that shit right now. now. You got it. You got it. Right 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 you got it. Go to the go to the announcement section of the group. Yeah. We got it posted up there. It's a link to get the ebook for free. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah. I've been posting this all week. Yeah. Sharing it, sharing it. Hey, so you got the seminar, what? Saturday, right? Saturday, yeah. You got, got the one seminar coming up Saturday. That's, that's, that's sold also. Out, uh, <laughs> sold out. Uh, the one in Willenboro, we still got a couple slots for the Willenboro okay. at 2 o'clock. Okay, o okay. Y'all okay. yeah. okay. no, definitely should get this book. He's so giving it away. Like, how you gonna not get hey, something hey, free? You can get the book from Barnes and Noble, too, right? Because I looked on there and I searched and I saw it. That means they ordering it from Amazon. Right. Oh, Amazon. Oh, so they ordering it from Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Basically, it's like you can, search, you can search for any book, 
Yeah. And Barnes and Noble like, yeah, we're gonna take our cut. Yeah, <laughs> we we get part, it for you. We yeah. partnering with Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. They wholesaling real estate. Yeah, they wholesaling. Yeah. This is real estate. Yeah, I mean yeah. they wholesaling yeah. that yeah. Because yeah. we went, me and Tariq went online and we was looking for it because he was trying to find your link to put on the on the YouTube, YouTube. joint. Oh, so we nice. looking for it. Yeah. And we went to Barnes and Noble and, and we found up. it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, he said uh, Amazon. So yeah, then we booked searched Amazon. again. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah. Booked yeah. Amazon. <laughs> Barnes and Noble. They sent it to me. I sent it to you. I promise you. I promise. Yeah. Now, can we do a, a book giveaway? Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, I got All right, books. so hold up. So hold up, hold up, hold up. How we gonna give this away? What y'all wanna do? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. We we come up with something. Y'all wanna give this away? Yeah, we come up with something. We can, we can, we can, we can infuse it. All right, we gonna give away two books. We gonna let y'all know later. We don't know how yet. We gotta, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna post some questions or some shit or something. Matter of fact, we gonna post the question there about what Dre was talking about, and we gonna make sure y'all answer that right, and then we'll give y'all. Yeah, got two books for y'all. Got two books, but we gonna post that in the group page probably tomorrow or the next day. But we definitely gonna get them away. I like that idea. Thank you, bro. And for those who do win the books, he might be able to. Do an autograph for y'all too. Yeah. So he get he can sign yeah. the books for y'all. Yeah, so definitely. We know him personally. We got yeah. we got we know him. We can find this dude. He ain't like the other people that write y'all books. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey listen. Uh, one from Amazon. Yeah. Hey listen, before well, speaking about books, I do want to plug something real quick if y'all mind. Mm -hmm. Saturday, mm -hmm. the Philadelphia mm -hmm. um okay. uh community college. If you're not doing nothing with your kids between one and four o'clock, mm -hmm. they have the Africa African American Book Festival. Nice. Um, it's children books too. Yeah. So take the kids, like you know, mm -hmm. my man right here, he stressed reading hard than a motherfucker. Yeah. Like he got a whole library over this bitch and yeah, man. I got books at the house. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I take them. I get your book back. <laughs> I'll finish that one, I'll bring it back. Yeah. Um, but listen, it's from one to four, and guess what, y'all? It's free. It's just like this book. It's free. Yeah. It's free. To just like the YouTube page, y'all you better be signing up for it. Yeah. It's free. It's free. The subscription on YouTube. And Sun said, free. Sun said, <laughs> just give me a book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me drop this jewel on you, right? What I do with my children is on the front of this book, it's something similar to like a Monopoly game. Ooh. Right? So what I do with my children is to, to stimulate their minds during the week, no TV. No electronics, no video games, good, Monday good. through Friday, because right? That's more people need to so know. now what that does is it, it weeds out all the distractions. Make them focus. Right? So my oldest son, uh, he's he's 14, he goes to Princeton Day School. This school costs like 50000 a year. Mm -hmm. My son got a free ride to this school because of intellect. Not because of sports, not because now he's only in this he was he got the, the, the scholarship <coughs> from the sixth grade. To the twelfth grade. Wow. They're covering sixth the whole grade? tuition from the sixth grade to the twelfth grade. And I used to hang at Princeton Day School, so I know yeah, what man. it's about up there. Yeah. He having a ball. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's over three hundred thousand they're investing in his education. Nice. And it's exposing him to things that he ordinarily wouldn't be exposed to. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now my younger kids, they're focused. And they're they're not being distracted. I was a little distracted. He does that every once in a while. Yeah, he does that every once in a while. Don't worry about so, it. So so it weeds out the distractions, right? So one of the things that helped me stick to my game plan and to my vision, because that's key. Everything that I touch, every business that we open, whether it's daycares, preschools, construction companies, nonprofit, there's a vision and there's a focus for those businesses, right? So in order for us to accomplish those visions and I set them monthly I set them weekly I set them yearly just so that we can accomplish our goal you know what I mean so with anything that we want to accomplish we have to weed out those distractions when they when they ask me how long did it take me to write this book I've been writing this book forever because the knowledge I've been pouring in and I constantly learned it was already in me so it took me like two days to actually write the book what took the longest right what took me the longest was getting the design right getting the editing right, you know what I mean? That's what took the longest, but when you're when you're focused and you have a vision, you can accomplish anything. So I say to parents, definitely have your kids read. What my kids do, this is this is how they they reward themselves. If they do good in sports or their music lessons or whatever activities, 
They want to go to Barnes and Noble. They want to buy a book. Yo, so I ask up. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's why, why yo, like listen, that. man. The books, yeah. reading, reading. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. Like, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't like reading when I was coming up. Like, yeah. I, like any other kid, you felt yeah. like it was boring. Right. But you gotta find something that the kids like. Yes, right. and, and get them that. Right. And I don't care. I truly don't care. I don't right. care if you want to read about mermaids. Right, whatever. You, yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah. what you want to read about. Right. But uh, to get you interested and spark that in you, yeah. I gotta have you reading something. Right. So yeah. I get you whatever it takes. Right. But after that, yeah. now we gotta focus. Because right. now you yeah. got to read some shit. You got the skills. Now you got to read some stuff that's going to help you. And the beginning is to get you the skills to make uh -huh. sure you comprehend right. what you're reading. Uh -huh. right. After that, now it's like we need to give you something that's going to make you learn something. We got to bring it so to you. So you know what I mean? I ain't going to just keep giving you comic books. Right, These right, comic right. books are okay right. for entertainment, but you need to educate yourself. Yeah, learn something. So, that. so check this out, right? The game Monopoly, we all played that mm -hmm. as kids. Yep. Back in the day, when you passed go, what you used to get? 200. 200, right? The new Monopoly has an automatic teller machine connected to it and you use credit cards. Yep. Mm -hmm. When you pass go, you get two million. Whoa. It changes your perception about money now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when you hear two million, when you land on Park Place, you're getting 15 million. When you land mm -hmm. on Boardwalk, you're getting 20 million. So now when I when I play this game with my kids, because you have to find something to substitute that time that, that they would normally yeah, watch yeah, TV. So you, right, so right, you right. can't just say, nah, I'm going to take nah. this away from you, yeah. and you don't give, give them something, them something. You gotta give to them something. Right. So gotcha. how I stimulate my children's mind is I play games with them, but I play economic games mm -hmm. because I want for them to learn. Like when you receive this inheritance that I'm going to leave, you're going to have to keep it going. You're going to have to keep it going. Yeah. Because yeah. You're going to get millions. You know what I mean? So I don't want you intimidated by hearing Oh, that's going to cost you 1.2 million. Or right. oh, that's going to cost you five. I want, you know what I mean? Like my 10 year old understand finances now. So when we playing the game, me and him will stay up playing three, four three, hours. Yeah. But he might end up with 60 million on his credit card. <laughs> I might end up with 20 on mine. But it's the, it's the, 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 the programming that I'm doing. Is replacing oh, what the TV on. would normally prove. Man. No, here it is. Or like, video games. Is y'all listening to this? Yeah, I, mean, I hope y'all pay Hey, yo, listen. Yes. This yo, is a very good. This is a very yo, good. Y'all better go to YouTube and watch <laughs> this one over. Hey, listen. Not only that. This right here was the. This is a very educational show. Yeah, like I'm yeah. learning. I'm learning a lot of stuff yeah. that I didn't know. Yeah. And it's some new things that I want to try. We're gonna talk later. Yeah. Um, yeah. But. Uh, Seriously, y'all, get the book. If y'all do nothing else, yeah. get the free book. It's the free end. book. You got three, four, you got three hours. Yeah. Go yeah. there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull it up. Um, hold on. I'm going to pull it up. I, I've been wanting them to and get this book, yo. And we got a couple of going to give away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You still got two. We're going to give away. We're going to give away. In this book, I put a way that you can turn $4,000 into fifty thousand dollars between personal and business credit. Before y'all go blow that at book. GNS, yeah, before y'all go blow that at GNS, so you can flip your own money into personal and business credit. Four thousand dollars into a minimum of fifty thousand in personal and business credit. So a minimum up to two fifty. You want to help me get there? Yeah, dog. Right, you right, you got the book, baby. Right, man. Right, man. Right, man. Right, man. Right, with you now. I'm already here. Right. 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 I'm halfway right. here, dog. And I, I just want to say I've been I've been building with building with this brother for a few years. Yeah. And we we've been on yeah. the same level. Yeah. But his time, my time, right. he like you said, like he been yeah. saying, he got a whole bunch going on. So right. we was never able to connect like we we wanted to. Right. But he right. here. Yeah. He on the show. Yeah. And I knew what he knows yeah. was good for me, so I knew yes, it would have been good for everybody else. Yes. So that's why I'm here. I appreciate you know it. Mean? Yeah. I do want to say one thing, though. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for uh, supporting us, though, Trey. Hey, so I got you, man. Real, real, real talk. Like, <laughs> like, like I, 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 I mean, when, when yeah. I got the message, and yeah, I'm like, yeah, wow, yeah. for yeah. real. Yeah. I yeah. appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Hey, we all any, anything, that. anything yeah. that you yeah. need from us that yeah. we can help with, yeah. We gonna definitely try to help you with that, bro. Yeah. I, I really do appreciate learn. you doing what you did for us because you didn't have to. Y'all family, man. Yeah, hey, I appreciate yeah. y'all family, and that's what we have to do more of: support one another. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 We have to support. Because we we really trying to build something here. No, yeah, exactly. we started this. So we started different. this from the dirt. Like, yeah, this was, yeah, yeah. This was nothing. This was we, an idea. We, was, we came here on the yeah. first night, yeah. and we were supposed to record. Yeah. And we went, ah, yeah, my I, had a, yeah. I had an idea. I said, look, this, yeah. is, this, is, what, this is my yeah. idea. Y'all yeah. want to do it? They say, yes. All right, yeah. boom. This is the way I want to do it. Yeah. We yeah. tried yeah. it that way. Yeah. didn't work. Every week, yo, every week, this ain't easy. 
just so y'all know. Nah, and I, I tell people that. This shit is not this, a, no, easy. Not, y'all right. might think we come on here and bullshit and drink. Yeah, this, yeah. yeah we do that. We drink, but yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all this. This this takes work. Like I got These are my best friends, but I gotta yeah. talk to them almost every day now. Like I didn't have to do that before. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can talk to y'all every six months and we was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I talk to them every day. We talk, we talk three, a couple times, times a week. And we yeah. disagree a, lot, a whole lot, a lot. Yeah. But it works though because you can't. You can't have the same mind. Can't have yes, man. Like, nowhere around. Yeah. yeah, we got three three minds. Like we always not going to agree on everything. Absolutely, nope. right. definitely Absolutely. not going to agree on everything. Hey, Roland. So hold on, hold on, real quick. I want to address some things. Roland, the link is posted in the group page. Just go to the announcement section. I promise you, it's there, bro. Yeah. It's the eBooks one. I want y'all to download as many of these damn books as y'all yeah. can right now. Like, cause y'all only got like an hour, two and a half hours. Now, when they now when they download them, would they be able to share them at all or no? I don't know if they, if Amazon will let them share. Probably not. Probably but, not, right? probably not, but who right. cares? I got it on my phone. You need it? Need it. Hey. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a matter of fact, send a link to your friend and tell them to download it. Download they only it. got to just down share it. Now, with, with Amazon, they have what you call Kindle. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Kindle yeah. will let you will still let you read it for free even after today. Word. They'll let you read it for free. You just have to but sign you have up to for have a Kindle. Kindle. No, nah, they have a Amazon, they have a you app. Don't need, you don't need Kindle oh, for it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, can download, you the, download Kindle the app to your cell phone. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, and um, cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm glad you gave me the book. Cause yeah. I was gonna download it, but I didn't have enough space, <laughs> and I was like, damn, I want this yeah. book. Yeah. But yo, for real, yeah. I really wanted this, yo. I, I, I think this is dope. Real so, quick, I got, a, I, got a, I, got a, I got a question. <laughs> I got a question for the people, real quick. Like, Drake gave y'all the um, information, or you know. Building, investing in the hood. What's some of the ways we can improve the hood, like improve to make the more people want to invest, to make it more enticing? Like, That's a good like, question. What, what I, we hold do? on. Let's what ask Drake. As as you could go. Movie, you could go. And, 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 and I want some some comments from the people because y'all not really. You know, y'all probably watch it, but I need I y'all. I think they're doing what you I need doing. y'all interaction. Hey, so oh, this shit up hey, right listen, now. Like, I need y'all participation on this hey, part. Listen, like, what are some of the things we could do? As a community to make it more enticing. Oh, Esther like, says she ordered your book. She said it ain't nothing like having a book in. Oh, Esther, you might win one. Hold Thank on. you. Because <laughs> presentation is everything. Yeah. Like you see some food that look good, right. and you gonna try it. It might not even be good, right. but, but if it looks good, it look, you gonna try yeah. it. Just so look, look, the question is, how can we improve the hood? Yeah, that, not even the hood, just the inner city. Period. So I, think the the first, I think the I think the I think the first thing I need y'all on this one too. Yeah. I, I, my my opinion of it is. I mean, and just from the conversation we had tonight, I think it's buying back the blocks. Yeah, it is. Because the only way to get the services that we need back in the hood, yeah, the, that money gotta that, be the money got to be there. And with, with, I didn't know it was 8,000 properties. Yeah. And you know it's bad because yeah, my, said, friend, my family home, I'm going to check my family home was one of them. But it's gone now, they tore it down. But my family home was probably one of those 8,000 or Right, right, right. right. Yeah. That, but but that it tore it down. Right. And, and I wish I'd have known you 10 years ago because I would have yeah. loved to buy my family home and fix and it up. But that, yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. it's going down. But you did know me to 10 years ago. <laughs> I didn't know you was doing this shit. Know you, you knew me. I knew you were like yeah, 15. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what, what yeah. I would oh, okay, say as far on. as that, as uh, far as building the community mm -hmm. back, yeah. I think the number one thing is to deprogram the yeah, way man. people were taught yeah, man. and reprogram them to the way you should think. Right. You know what I mean? Because we right. was taught to think a certain way, act mm -hmm. a certain way, look at things a certain way. But if we mm -hmm. could delete that file mm -hmm. and reprogram it with learning shit like this, right. then we could actually go to the next level. Right. But if, if we still running off that same stuff we've been running mm -hmm. off of the last 100 years and ain't got past a certain point, mm -hmm. then it's time for that to but go. But to do that, we got to get people back into... Like reading, we got to get people in, into like reading and doing, thinking outside the box. Yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. Same shit. That's what I'm saying. Like you said, deleting those old ourselves. files and reprogramming our yeah, brains to something yourself. that's actually going to take us to the next level. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so uh, Esther said, uh, we as a people, we need to take back our community. Yes. yes. Yeah, how though? How? Give me an example. How? Uh, Brew Boy said we need after school programs for the yes. kids and the teens that and the teens. That yes. teach what topics, what today's topic is about. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I agree with that. He's talking about teaching them this. Yeah, like I, I agree. Like mm -hmm. Killer Mike, um, <laughs> I watched yeah. some stuff mm -hmm. that Killer Mike put on. It was funny. It was mm -hmm. 
on Netflix, but he did have a really good. We 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 gotta teach kids the basics, but we also have to teach them the stuff that's gonna help them every day. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? You gotta teach them the things that they're gonna be able to use. Like yeah, we can teach you algebra. Well, I was graduating. I ain't graduated from high school, sorry. But um, I ain't never used algebra since I left high, uh, school. Any of y'all? Anybody use algebra? You might hear me. You might, because you do all the I was going to say, when I do, <laughs> I don't I'm do that shit. Measuring and stuff, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, it was simple algebra. It was so basic. people saying after school programs. I That's, definitely agree with the. Uh, after school programs that'll keep the kids off the streets, off the streets yeah. and give them something constructive to do, give them you know things well, to learn. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we do. see though. The money like ran said, out. The money ran out. Yeah. out. Doug, but, but that's what I really funded, funded, though. Yeah. Doug, and that's what I learned. Doug got out of the office, man. They so stopped. You gotta remember. Sure. That's what I learned about. Wasn't it federally? No, no. With 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 the with the money that comes out of this city, that's what it's almost like having collateral, right? So if you have a a 50 million surplus because of the uh, real estate that's that's being funded or the property taxes that's being paid. What happens is the state look at that local community and say, okay, they're worth putting money back into oh, because they're making money. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. Generate, but so, when you're at a deficit and you look like a black hole that, that has no bottom, why, dropping money yeah, yeah. why are we going to drop money there? Yeah. But if you bringing that money in, you bringing it in, you bring it in, of course they're going to re reinvest back yeah, into you. They're going to support your programs. They gonna support the libraries, the pools, yeah. whatever we, program we you. The in, pools, because yeah. you the say, pools. Cause like what you what? saying. Let me read you. Let me read. Let me read. Hold on, real quick though. Like what you saying? Mm -hmm. If because because I was just saying this, and I had this conversation plenty of times with a few people mm -hmm. about the city of Trenton, mm -hmm. and it was a time where the city of Trenton was the place to be because that's where all the money was at, because that's where all the businesses was at. Right. Right, right, and right, then right, right. Once right, the, right. the steel mills and all that yeah, stuff started industrial. leaving, yeah, yeah, it was part of the had a trip and makes the world That's the only thing yes. there, though. That's the only really thing that's really popping is the teleport road, and they got that other thing across the street that I think they toilet seats. I don't know. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's it. But hold on. Tisa said, um, City, uh, Trenton City Council just voted down dispensaries, which is the dumbest thing they should have did because that they jacked them out. Yeah, that would have generated all because so they hate the that weed man. Generated so much money for Trenton, and she was like, uh, and against the computer company that wanted to come to the town. But there was a computer company that wanted to come to the town. Uh, uh, Esther says, first we have to get our kids' bonds back. Yeah, that's going. That's what get, I said. We got to get them the old right. files and implement yeah. the new ones. Uh, uh, GZ said, um, science. We got to start bringing science back to the youth. So the, the key is we and out the distractions. Right now we know they're distracted, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to, you have, when you weed it out, you can't just say don't watch TV. You got to say don't watch Still TV true. because I'm about yeah, to you teach you this. something else. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm about to, you know what I mean? We're about to go to the library and I'm going to teach you about this. And I'm going to teach you like, it's our responsibility. It's not the mm -hmm. school's exactly. responsibility exactly. Now, to teach about credit. Nah, you know what I mean? Right, my no. dad and my, my mom, all of them had to start teaching me about credit because I didn't learn it in high school. Absolutely not. They ain't teach me economics. I ain't nope. learn how to flip houses mm -hmm. in Absolutely high school. Absolutely not. You know what I mean? Because I had I had a conversation with uh, a close friend of mine this week and mm -hmm. she, she asked me, she was like, so... We was talking about the killer bike thing. Uh -huh. I was trying to teach these kids how to do, not kids, but teach people how to do things, mm -hmm. do porn. It was weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw it. It was weird. Yeah. It was weird. That's it why I weird. stopped that. It was weird. <laughs> but what I'm saying That's is, why I stopped that. But, 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 but the question was, when does <laughs> it was but that, but that was kind of like what he said. It was weird, if though. you make it look a certain way, it was way, weird, though. It through. was weird, though. <laughs> and, then, and the funny part is, like, he gave him a test before, and he gave him a test after. And honestly, they did better on the test after, even though the, the, the skill that they was teaching them, like changing the light switch, changing the lock on the door, mm -hmm. and they and snake in the toilet. They mm -hmm. taught them that through porn. Went through a different and way. And they yeah. watched it, and they learned it, and they actually passed the test. But so I presented to them. Yeah. I say all that. It was I the say, presentation. Yeah, I, I, I say all of that <laughs> because when does, when, where does the school stop and where does home start? Home is supposed to start first. No, what I mean it, by that, no, what I mean by that, like the school is going to teach reading, writing, math, history, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's up to the parents and us to teach the rest. Yo, you got to teach, yo, yeah. you got to learn how to balance your checkbook. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to know right. what's coming in and what's going out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the part that you can't rely on the schools to do. And, right. and, and me personally, I'll say this I never do nothing about a 401k plan until I got 30 
nine years old, right? mm -hmm. working at the job that I have now. Right. And it wasn't until I had a co-worker sit down and explain that it. That said, Dad, put this amount in there and mm -hmm. take this amount home with you. Mm -hmm. And it's been working. Right. But I never my parents didn't teach me that. Right. They didn't show me that. And it and, and I can't really blame my mom because I don't think she had a job like that. I mean, she could have showed me nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Well people can only do what they're taught. Right? Exactly. So in order for our children to learn more, we have to take up that time and teach them more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, a lot of times parents from back in the day, they worked hard, so you know they couldn't make it to your games, they couldn't make yeah, it to yeah. you know your, your, your recitals and yeah, all just, your, your plays because they was too busy at work. So that was that generation. Mm -hmm. We're a different generation. We're yeah. making more money now. We don't gotta work three and four jobs. You know what mm -hmm. I mean, you can work one job, but then pour some time into your children. Yeah, you know absolutely. What I mean? absolutely. Like sometimes what we what we were taught was work, 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 work. Right. And then you know the parents wasn't there for a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I mean, but the stuff that my parents taught me was when they set me down and explained to me finances. The school couldn't teach me that. No. Mm -mm. You understand what I'm saying? The school couldn't teach me, couldn't take me and show me, okay, you can buy this house for this amount, you can flip it for this amount, mm -hmm. or you can own your own business. The school kind of, you know, it, it programs you to think one way. Like right. a worker. Right. Right. So, a so as an entrepreneur, I always had that spirit, and that's what my parents nurtured because they noticed that. It was like, oh, he like he's smart. Yeah, he, said, he don't want to work. He don't want to yeah. work for nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so let me nurture this. Let me speak yeah. life into that. Let me point him in this direction. Uh -huh. so and that's sure what they did. That, yeah, yeah and, and that's what we have to do with our children. But that only comes by spending time with them outside of school. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? I think that, you know, I I, I, I think, well, let me read this stuff real quick. Okay. I don't want to yeah, yeah, give my own perspective. I don't want to give my own perspective. This is why we have it live. Yeah, so this, this, so, this, Tisa, yeah. so Tisa said something that I thought was a good point. Uh -huh. um, Palmer boarding up all the houses, bringing down the values of our neighborhoods. That killed the town's value. I, I can't say it was I just. Disagree. I can't say it was just Palmer, but it was a lot more for the houses went up. I don't know if it was just him. I'd say after him. No, nah, bro. I, I, no, I, you, I would say after. You, you would say that the houses got boarded up more after him? Hell yeah. Man, they was boarding up the houses and painting them dumbass pictures on them with so the flowers and dogs <laughs> in the window. Think about it this way, though. Like, think uh, about what it this way. What did Palmer leave office? Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, and you know. For like 10 years, hey, yo, wasn't it? Yeah, because you don't. Yeah, because you, you, oh, you don't have. Yeah, because you don't have a term when you went there. Wait, how long he was there? But boy, twenty years. years. Even if it was twenty right, years. Right, even right. if he left ten years ago, he was there for twenty years. And if he was there for twenty years, most of those abandoned properties got boarded up on his term. He was the one that said, "Paint them green, put the dog in the window with the flowers." Yeah, the hey, and you know that the you little bit that was there were so many you can't even do that. Ain't no you can't even do it. So think about it this way. Eight thousand. This was this was a part of. A certain group plan <coughs> for the city of Trenton. They want to mm -hmm. shut it this down. wasn't no this wasn't no overnight thing. This was a nah. 20, 30, 50 year plan. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Like as we plan and as we teach our children, we're not thinking about just today or Two just years. five years nah. from now. We're talking about 20, yeah. 30 right. year legacies. Right. Right. So and, now let's look at the drugs yeah. that played a part in oh, this. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at let's look at the guys that got locked up for selling drugs. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the gangs, the, the gangs that, all of that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. when you think about People wanting to feel safe in their homes again, but you got drug dealers, you got drug addicts, you got, you know what I'm saying, all mm -hmm. these different issues. Most people wanted to move away. That's yeah. exactly. And that's so what they did. So yeah. they wasn't for it too, they did. They did. So yeah. they planted the drugs in the neighborhoods, you know what I mean? We're going back to the Reagan administration. This, yeah. this, this was a, a 30, 40 year plan. This wasn't just on Palmer. Yeah, Watch. Was in the 80s. This was already planned when, uh, when Arthur Holland was the mayor. Uh -huh. This was planned back then. Yeah. So that's why we're in this stage now because the gentrification uh -huh. played a part in it. It was a 30, 40 year plan. Yeah. So now what I'm saying is, let's fix that. I don't care who, who fought it was. It's I'm taking responsibility. I'm now. taking responsibility. And I'm teaching all of our brothers and sisters, like, look, we can fix this by taking our blocks back. Absolutely. Yeah. By buying up these abandoned cribs, by working together, investing with one another, mm -hmm. and, and speaking life and I teaching. Think, I think we need to we need to break the the cycle of yes. like doing the same shit. Yes. Exactly. Like everybody That's what I'm saying. The same shit. If all we've all done all something for 50 years, years and it, it everybody work. like wanna be rappers and wanna be popping in the hood, like 
Y'all better do something, invest this money and do something. But we have different. to we have to show them. Yeah. But yeah, you know why I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because generational curses. Like it, it, is. Is. it is. No, no, it is. No, exactly what it is. No, it's 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 no because shit. Like everybody yeah. want to do the same thing. If you, exactly if you right. think you're about nowhere it. fast, you're spinning your wheels in mud. Everybody you think spinning about their it. If mud. you think about it, like as we were coming up, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like drugs was very, very prevalent in our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of people getting money. Right, 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 right. Oh, hold on, real quick. Hold on. Let me. No, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> there was a lot of people getting money. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of people getting money, and, and as kids, I mean, even me, like, I just looked up to them, like, damn, this dude got bread. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have nobody to show me, like, yo, you can get money this way, too. Right. You don't got to do that. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. But, but, but the thing is, like, the one thing that I'm noticing about the kids now, mm-hmm. they hustle way better than ours. Yeah. yeah. They ain't got to go out on the I, block. I, 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 I they can say, sit right in their room, kick their I'm not even up. talking about illegal hustle. I'm not even talking about an illegal no, hustle. No, that's what I'm talking these about. These kids legal. nowadays, they know how to make money on these computers. Yeah, man. it's right. easy. Sitting in the back of the house. I would just, just say this to them, like the ones that, you know, even if they is drug dealers, y'all better invest in the dispensary. Y'all want to sell drugs? Get legal, legal with it. Get legal business. with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, get crazy, y'all got all this money. Y'all going out here buying these cars and all this shit and having these big extravagant parties and shit. Open up a dispensary. Yeah. Yeah. So it's legal. So you can get it legal. Yeah, legally. Right. And you yeah. ain't got to be looking over your shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You right. well, you well, spend that money in the hood. Yeah. Yeah. And invest yeah. in your property. Go buy this book. Buy you a property. Yeah. Open your dispensary. All right. Like the book. So I want you to go to Amazon.com. You can download it for free, Kindle, after tonight. Um, you can download it for free, period. As long as you, long as you subscribe to the Kindle uh, app, app. You know what I mean? they'll send it to you direct. The other thing is February 2nd, Saturday, February 2nd, we're doing the webinars, I mean the workshops and the seminars, teaching these real estate strategies. We're teaching wholesaling. We're teaching buying and flipping. We're teaching buying and holding mortgages. We're teaching buying and renting. And we're teaching buying uh, tax liens, how to invest in tax liens. So this is an important time for us as black people to start changing the way that we think. We need to own our own businesses. We need to own our own banks, our own credit unions, our own real estate, our own Mm -hmm. stores. Even this program itself, what these brothers are doing with this podcast, this is a business that can be taught. This is the one that can be duplicated, and we can teach you the strategies of, of, of film production. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So editing. if you want to learn film production, if editing. you want to learn editing, if you want to learn marketing, mm-hmm. this is this is the podcast, this is the company to get with to learn these different things. It's not just one piece. It's not just sitting in front of the camera. There's so many different elements that go behind this production. Yes. That's why I decided to sponsor these That's brothers so because I know it, it takes money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's so many different elements behind TV production. Yes. Now, this can turn into short films. This can turn into uh, exactly. movies. Yep. This can turn into oh, filming okay. uh, plays. Absolutely. This can turn into doing music videos, doing documentaries, and whatever movies. they wanted to do. So even if you know any black-owned companies, holler at these brothers. Give them a list. Send them, send them comment in their, in, their, in their Jones and let them know some of the black-owned companies because they want to move around and network. Yeah. With people. Yeah, absolutely. That's doing the kids, stuff. And the we teens, here, we here to help y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. The teens are attracted to yeah. that. Yeah. So that. when they see us in the community, somebody asks me, Dre, why are you exposing yourself? Why am I exposing myself? This is this is my neighborhood. Absolutely. This is my community. <laughs> I own schools here for over 20, almost 50, almost 20 years. My daycares and preschools have been in these communities. My construction, so I've been exposed. Uh-huh. I'm out here on the same blocks. I just flip real estate. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I know all the hustlers. Yeah. I know all the dudes that's grew up with them. I, uh-huh. I grew up with them. Some yeah. of them in my family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I just chose to flip real estate. That's uh-huh. it. That's the only difference. And now I'm teaching you guys and teaching others. Like, we ain't going to stop here. We're going to get money here. We're going to get money in Philly. We're going to get money in Canada. We're going to get money all over keep the urban moving. areas and keep it moving. Mm-hmm. And we're going to build a legacy and leave an inheritance. we breaking generational curses. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. And we Absolutely. want y'all to get on board and help us. We yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. It's going to take more than the book. It's going to take more than everybody is a real estate investor. Yes, Everybody. It's a real estate investor. This might be my Bible for the next month. I swear to God, because I'm trying to get some money. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I got a job, but I'm trying to get some money. Yeah. Work's mine. I'm talking that bull. I'm trying to get some money. And I've been saying this for like the last couple of years yeah. that I, I'm 42. Yeah. 
Excuse me, I'm 43. Oh, you about to say? I was about to say you lying. I'm 42. I'm 42. I'm 42. I'm 42. You lying? I'm 43. <laughs> and I said to myself and to my wife yeah. that I want to be able to retire from my job. Yeah. <laughs> By the time I'm 45, 46. So we got to yeah. just blow. Yeah, we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> yes. We want to go right now. Because I'm with you on that. <laughs> All right, we going we gonna, we gonna to shut it down. Dang, you got anything on that? Oh, uh, yes, go, you know, go, I got to plug the, the party. Show. February 16th at the Andalusia Bar and Grill. Please come through and support us. Uh, it's going to be a four, five, six launch party and my birthday party. Any of y'all that party with me before, definitely come on out. I definitely want to plug the African American Book Fair at the Philadelphia Community College on 17th and Spring Garden. It's Saturday from one to four. It is a free uh, event. It's the African American Children's Book Fair. If you got kids and you want to read to them, take them there. Let them pick out their own book and buy it. You got $10 yeah, and um, I think I'm done with that. I think I'm good. Anybody else cash you got anything? Right, I mean, go to the YouTube. Subscribe, 456 Juice Jones, YouTube channel, uh, SoundCloud, 456 Podcast, Instagram, 456 Boys, B-O-Y-Z. Keep it pushing. Drake. Let's buy our blocks back, man. Let's get together. Form these small groups, you know what I mean? It don't take a whole lot. It just take a few dedicated people, and we can make we, we can make a world of a difference in our uh -huh. community. You know what I mean? So check out my new book, Everybody is a Real Estate Investor. Yes, even you on Amazon.com. I got a new book coming out on my birthday called Plant the Seed, Grow the Dream. Ooh. Everything you need is already in you. you know what I mean, we've been taught to look outside of us for our future. Your future is inside of you already. Absolutely. You know what I mean, when you look at the acorn, the acorn was became the oak tree. But everything that the oak tree became was already in the acorn. So that's how we are. We have gifts that are already inside of us. We don't have to look outside. We ain't got to chase, mm -hmm. chase some destiny. That's in us already. This podcast was in him already. It was in him already. These, this real estate and this gift was in me already. You know what I mean? So I didn't get programmed. We didn't get programmed by, you know, society and then making us think that we can't achieve something. Like, it's in you. Yeah. Discover it. Whatever your gift is. You're great. You're a leader already. You know what I mean? Figure it out. Here it do, is. Give me a quote. Is. I'm going to give you all my quote for the night. And then we're going to shut this down. Uh... The problem is people are being hated when they're real and are being loved when they fake. With that what? being said, keep it say real. That, say real that again. You. No, hold on, you gotta repeat that. that. I'm gonna say repeat that. Repeat that. Repeat that. that. The problem is people are being hated when they're real and are being loved when they're fake. So keep it real. Right, Be sir. real with yourself. 100. 100. And we gonna leave it like that. Peace. See y'all next week, yeah, yo. Peace. Peace. yo peace. Make sure y'all come back next week, too. Yeah, yeah and, and like I always say, 456 is not just a podcast. It's a way of life. Let's go. Next week, baby.